Hi, in this classic car report, we celebrate summer with this 89 Chrysler LeBaron. The first thing about the Chrysler LeBaron convertible that catches the attention is the beautiful styling of the car. It's an exceptionally sleek car designed during a time that cars were aggressively square and boxy. Despite being built on a variety of the K platform, it looks nothing like Chrysler's K cars. The styling is subtle and the body has European dimensions. The hideaway headlamps create a fully flush front. Here you go, you wanted to see that, huh? Chrysler's signature chrome waterfall grille is a beautiful styling clue that they should have kept in their current styling. The rear of the LeBaron has totally 80s full width tail lamps with black striping. Tail lamps cannot get more 80s than this. Before you guys start complaining in the comments about having a hitch on a convertible, it works great for pulling your camper trailer. This LeBaron features Chrysler's early 2.2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired to a three-speed automatic, which provides plenty of torque to pull a trailer or to drive like a wild man. We'd wish it would have an overdrive gear, though, to improve gas mileage. The front-wheel drive LeBaron has crisp steering and comfortable suspension, not too soft and not too stiff. It has European-style deep bucket seats, which are comfortable overall but lack lower back support. They are six-way adjustable and together with the tilting steering wheel provided plenty of room and good seating position for a 6'8 presenter. Now this is really a 2 plus 2 seater. The back seat does fit two more people, but you'd probably prefer to seat just one sideways. Despite that, the LeBaron treats the rear passengers with formats and even their own ashtrays. The luxury continues with its premium Infinity sound system. It features four active speakers plus two separate tweeters in a dash. Imagine this. Each woofer has its own electronically equalized amplifier specifically tuned for the car. This one has a hand-built auxiliary plug using the connector for the optional CD player at the back of the radio. All Chrysler LeBaron convertibles feature the power vinyl top with a glass window which folds into the trunk automatically and can be covered with a leather boot cover. The LeBaron furthermore features power heated mirrors and four power windows. Yes, four. By the way, why do you need heated mirrors on a car that's meant to be driven during sunny summer days? Then again, it has illuminated sun visors too, so whatever. When you're done staring at how sexy you look in this sleek convertible, you can pay some attention to how nicely crafted the interior is. Chrome door handles and Panastar emblems adorn the doors. Lots of wood grain surfaces and all other surfaces are padded, which makes them feel soft and pleasant. Also handy is the remote gas filler door release as well as the illuminated glove box so you can find your sunglasses. If you do step out of the car, you'll notice these very fine 16-inch aluminum lace wheels. This example also sports a trunk rack for extra cargo capacity on top of the trunk. This truly comes in handy because the convertible top takes in half the space of the trunk. Chrysler applied the principle of barn door engineering well on their LeBarons. Most of the finishes in the interior are either printed or molded on aluminum and steel. It is thick sheet metal on glass and the Chrysler 2.0-liter four-cylinders are known to be bulletproof. We couldn't tell you how many miles are on this one though since the odometer is broken. The LeBaron was available with an optional digital dashboard, which this one doesn't have. It does have a digital trip computer though, which shows average and instant fuel economy, distance to empty, engine time and trip distances. And did I mention the headlamps have a follow me home feature? They will stay on for two minutes after you shut down the engine to illuminate the path to your house after an enjoyable trip in this magnificent convertible.
And don't forget to put the top back up. Subscribe to see more of our in-depth car reviews and follow the Luxury Car Report on Facebook.